Hello again, everyone. Today I am here to do a watercolor swatching of some Dashali watercolors. I've profiled this brand on the channel before. Uh, I really, really love this person's watercolors. They're available on Etsy and they're, uh, she's a small handmade watercolor company. Highly recommend. It's one of my, I would say one of my top three handmade watercolors. So um, highly recommend. I'll put a link down below to her shop. I only have a few colors here uh, and I do have a couple of samples. And then I'm also going to start this new watercolor swatch book here. So you may or may not have seen the video where I talked about how I um, reached the end of my last watercolor pentallic field book that I was doing all of my swatches in and I haven't been able to get more of this particular size in the pentallic field book so I'm trying out this Canson watercolor uh, spiral brown notebook I mean for all intents and purposes it looks very much the same as far as the format uh, the cover looks I suppose a little bit different uh, the paper I'm assuming is a little bit different because it'll be from Canson but let's go ahead and give it a try. If if this works out well, this is what I'll be doing my swatches for all media in uh, until I run out of pages. All right, so let's go ahead and start here on the first page. And I have already run unwrapped these watercolors. And the colors that I have here today are Mama's Pajamas. Actually, let me zoom in. And I'll move this here and then, oops, let me get the light on as well. Sometimes I forget when it's really light in my, <laughs> in my space, I sometimes forget to turn the overhead light on because I can see, but it's much better with the overhead light. So like I said, the first one is number 77, Mama's Pajamas. And you can kind of get a preview here of what that looks like. And that's this one. And then the next one is Strawberry Yogurt, which is number 80. And then we have this one, which is Sleep. It looks sort of like a purplish color. And that is number 78. And then I have one, number 127, Ghost. So these are new colors to me from her. And as always, she includes a very sweet note and I'm always happy to uh, support her. She's located in Germany, so there will be a little bit of a shipping cost because of that. Okay, and the two samples that I have, one is Cassiopeia, number 28, and the other one is number 21, which is Arles here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these off to the side, and then you're gonna be getting full on swatching here. Let me get that positioned so that you can see them the best. I have gone back to my really uh, beat up, <laughs> um, brush that was from Jackson's or not Jackson's um Jerry's Artorama at one point in time and like I said I I haven't really this is one that I can't really recommend and I don't really want to include the info on because they've gone up so much in price that it's not really worth it anymore I would think and there's so many good brushes out there but I just wanted to let you know because I often get questions about what brush I am using so I'm just putting a small drop of water on each of these watercolors here, including the samples. And you may have noticed that I had some empty spaces in that palette. That was just an old Lucas palette, Lucas metal palette that I'm using this year. And I still actually have some color from when I was using some other colors that were in here. But I do have a plan for the other pans that are in here. So I'm going to be showing that in a separate swatching. Uh, let's just say that those are some new to me colors with lots of granulation. But that's the only teaser I'm going to give. <laughs> but I will be posting those soon. But for now, just a teaser. All right, so let's get on to the first color here, which is Mama's Pajamas, which is a really pretty pink color, almost like a coral it seems. Let's see. Yes, super nice. Really, really lovely. And I will hold these up closer to the camera before we go. And then what was the next one? I've forgotten the name already. It is Strawberry Yogurt. So let's just go across here. That is a really lovely color. Really, really like that one. 
So let me see if I can get it even closer. Since we don't have a lot of colors, I can do that. The next one is called Sleep. And these re-wet so easily. I don't even know if I needed to put the water on them, but it is kind of nice to have them, you know, like super, super ready right away. And I think maybe all of these have some white in them, so they're going to be opaque. But uh, she has a variety of watercolors, some of which are granulating and some of which are transparent. And then this is a lovely color. This is uh, that ghost color. Really, really beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do those two samples. The first one is Cassiopeia. I really like it when people send samples because then I can try. See, this is a really good example of, uh oh, it looks like I got some watercolor down there. Let me just go ahead and wipe that off with my finger. I actually don't have a paper towel handy, which I normally do. Uh, so this is a good example of one of the um, transparent colors. And it does look like it would have a little bit of granulation as well, but we'll have to see as it dries. And then this next one is Arles, which is kind of like a yellow ochre. But like I said, oh no, it's brighter than a yellow ochre. Okay. I was going to say, because yellow ochre is a color that I have way too much of. So I don't need any more yellow ochres. But this is actually a little bit brighter. That's very interesting. All right. So the, oh, what, oh, I have it on my hand. That's why. I have the watercolor on my hand, which is why I keep spreading it on the paper. But that's okay. Actually, let me, because normally, yeah, you can pretty much get it all up that way. And since I don't have a paper towel handy, I think I threw them all away. I am just going to put another piece of watercolor paper over and then we can pull that right up and it's not gonna show up there. That way I can do other swatches below and it won't be an issue. Okay, so I don't need to go too far since I'm pretty close already. So this was Mama's Pajamas, which I would say is sort of like a corally pink because it does have some orange in it. It does dilute down to a really beautiful pink. This one, Strawberry Yogurt. I said, you know, it's probably more the color of blueberry yogurt I get when it's all mixed up, but I'll, I'll go with it. And maybe um, it is lightening a little bit when it's drying. So again, these dilute really, really beautifully to a really nice, that's almost like a lavender or, or even like a, a, a neutral. Love this kind of color. And then this one is Sleep, which is pretty much a true purple, um, but really, really lovely. And again, I think you could water this out even more and get some really nice subtle effects with that. This is right up my alley. It's this color Ghost which again, when you dilute it out, is so, so nice. All of her colors are super complex and I really love them. This Cassiopeia is turning out to be absolutely beautiful. And it's almost like a Prussian blue, I would say, although when it dries, it seems to be a little bit less uh, bright than a Prussian blue. But again, this would probably be a, a beautiful sky color diluted down because it does have a really nice blue color there. And then Arles, which I thought was more of a um, yellow ochre, but appears to be more of a um, deep yellow, which is actually quite beautiful. This would be a really useful yellow in a um, dual primary mixing palette because this would work really well, I think, as a warm yellow. All right. Well, there you go. Super beautiful colors always impressed. Uh, I don't order from her very often. First off, I have a lot of her watercolors, but I, I love them. I use them all the time. But also, uh, I tend to wait <laughs> until there's more uh, or there's enough new colors that I uh, can justify s shipping them out. So, um, so four in this case was what I, what I thought was enough in this case. And also they do tend to sell out if they're really popular. So I did want to make sure that I got these colors because they're really, really beautiful. And I would have to say that of these colors, the strawberry yogurt is probably my favorite. 
It is um, very similar to, oh, what's that Hawaiian watercolor company that has a lot of opaque watercolor, uh, wa opaque watercolors. I'm totally blanking on their name right now, but there is um, a color from them called Stone Ochre, which I think is, it, it's, it's probably a little bit darker and a little bit more neutral than this one, but it has sort of the same feel as this. Love, love, love. I think I actually prefer this to that, but just thought I would show you the small collection of watercolors that I'd gotten from Germany. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And as I teased, there will be in those empty palettes or empty uh, pans that I had in that watercolor palette, you are going to be getting some new to me, highly granulating and interesting colors. All right, to be continued. Hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much, bye.